In order to access your EMR cluster remotely, you need to download this software called Putty. It's an Windows SSH client. And this also indicates that you are supposed to access your um, EMR cluster via SSH. If you want to read more, do look up on the internet what is SSH. And it's also something quite common if you're going to work with cloud computing because this is perhaps one of the easier and more efficient way to connect to your remote server. What you need to do is to download the um, installer. Most likely you will need a 64-bit x86, uh, right? And you can then use it. Or if you know what you're doing, you can also download a 64-bit version okay, of the x86 putty that you can just double click and execute it. The others, you probably do not need them. If yes, I will tell you what you can do next. Next, I'll show you the screenshots. If you have started putty, what you need to do next. If you check earlier from the screen where you have your um, server information, so let me go back to the previous screen. You will see that you have this information and I want you to copy this link, right? EC2, 54, 50, 42, so on. Click on copy so that this will be the address how you may connect to your EC2 instance. So you can see that is exactly the link that you would like to put here. Let me double check. Okay, you should see that they are the same name. And what you need to do is to add a Hadoop add in front of the host name. Make sure port 22 is selected and SSH is also selected here. The next thing you will want to scroll down, which you can see there's this option called auth here which means authentication. And if you click on this, you should be able to see this screen where you will need to load the private key. So previously you have that PPK file that would like you to click browse and you should be able to go to the next screen that allows you to load this file. So locate where you save it. In my case, I actually save it under lecture and AWS once you select this, click open, you see that this file is being listed here. The next thing you need to do, don't move away, is to look for the tunnel option and select tunnels. This is the part I want you to key in the source port information, which is 8157, and make sure you have auto selected and dynamic selected. Now click Add. You should see that this number will appear up here as D8157. At this point, you have configured it and before you do anything, now scroll up the categories and go all the way back to Sessions. When you go back to session, I want you to key in the name. Okay, so if you want to name your safe session like me, you can put IST3134 EMR 2021 and cross check whether you have the host name. That means the uh, host name that you copied from the um, cluster page. This one. Okay, remember to click this. And then make sure you put Hadoop at in front of your host name and with the right port number and connection type. Once you have given a session name, now you can click on save. With this, you would have saved all the settings under this session so that later you can also click on this in order to load all the configuration and connect to the servers. 
With this, you should be able to establish connection via SSH to your cluster.